Hi Taurus, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with a reading. Today we have your own reading, and we're pulling your oracle cards as we speak. And, uh, you know, we have this magician, Taurus, and so this magician is a different magician, and he's pretty bored here. And uh, this can talk about boredom, but it, it talks about a lot more. It talks about somebody who wants to manifest something, uh, and they're kind of like, they're kind of thinking, well, you know, I kind of been, been down this route before or maybe a similar situation. And they're thinking that, you know, if they're not able to manifest uh, the situation, what they want, this magician, right? This magic thing that he wants kind of, right? Uh, if he can't manifest, and I feel it, believe it's a relationship, right? If he can't manifest it here, it'll be like a very disappointing. In other words, he's sitting there slouched over, but... He's kind of, you know, doubting whether or not he can actually have this. And we have the five of hearts. So we know this is about love. This can be about a marriage. We have the church window there. It's very beautiful. The stained glass. Mm -hmm. And also we, uh, we have the, the barn here. It's in the reverse. This is about a visitor, right? Uh, you really want to see somebody or you could be waiting for somebody, uh, for some of you. And remember that these readings could be, vice versa, right? This could be your person's energy in the reading, right? This happens all the time in a general reading. It does. That's kind of the flawed part about a general reading. I feel like it is. And let's see what it says about the barn in the reverse. It shows a lack of something and possible illness in the body. This is usually about a visitor. I feel like what this is, is that you are like either waiting to see somebody for them to come forward or you feel like maybe, wow, it might not happen for me. Yeah, I feel like that's kind of the energy here, right? Mm -hmm. And then we have the fallen teeth, right? Hopefully your teeth are still intact in your mouth. Yeah. And it says some don't smile. They just show their teeth. This means there will be trouble caused by the opposite sex. That could be anybody. It doesn't have to be this person. To dream of teeth falling out is a sign that you will lose money. Okay, well, it's, uh, okay, they are falling out here. Yeah, they are. <laughs> and, uh, mm -hmm. and this is in the upright. There's, you have some type of trouble with somebody, or you think that there could be trouble. This could be you wanting to, waiting to manifest this, hoping you will. And you think whoever you're trying to manifest this dream with is like having trouble with somebody else. I feel like that's probably it. And then we have the ax pick, and this is reversed. Things will go south and be bad, and your fruit is rotten. Okay, we're not saying it is, Taurus. We're saying that this is what you probably, you might be thinking this. And this could be your person's energies, remember that. So you think that you're in love with somebody here, and you kind of, I feel like you want to marry them. But you feel, maybe they're married too, but my point about it is that that wouldn't be good, but it's a possibility. Uh, my point about it is that you think things are going to go south. Mm -hmm. It's also possible here that you want to manifest this and something is going south with somebody else. Like, and I don't mean south uh, down to, uh, uh, to Baja or, you know, down to Costa Rica. I mean, down, 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 baby, right? Like, not good. Let's see what it says about the five of hearts in the river. No, it's in the upright. This is the church window. And this is the little chapel, which is a little church where people get uh, married, right? It is, right? Go into the chapel and we're gonna get married, right? Uh, gee, I really love you. <laughs> it's a cute song. And this card is represented by a stained glass church window. Growing up in a southern free will Baptist church, I've always had a deep love for these windows. Okay, you don't have to be Baptist. You don't have to be any uh, any religious religion. And the artwork of sunlight created by them. So do I. It's beautiful. To dream of being in a church signifies a wedding or a marriage. Likewise, to dream of seeing praying hands is a sign of fertility. Therefore, the five of heart foretells a marriage. Yeah, and with the jack of hearts, a baby. Okay. So, you might, I feel like you're probably going to marry somebody, but you look like you're kind of doubting it here. That's kind of how it looks. So, let's see what else we have for... For uh, Taurus, yeah. Let's see what we got. Let's get a couple of these cards for Taurus, please. And we have love, right? Reminds me of that song, Love and Marriage. 
go together like a horse and carriage. <laughs> Can't sing yet, you guys. It's really early. Yeah, that's why they don't do concerts really early. No, because uh, the voice doesn't open up this early. No, it doesn't. We have the doll and love. And here's Sapo showing her boobies here, right? They're just sticking right out. She has her wings on. She's ready to fly into bed. That's what she's ready to fly into bed with uh, with her partner here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, this is real love here. You really love somebody. And uh, I feel like you're kind of waiting for this person. But let's see. We have the doll. Mm -hmm. This is childhood wounds usually. Maybe you have wounds, uh, earlier wounds from this person. Because a magician who slouched over here, he's thinking the, something about, you know, uh, he couldn't manifest it in the past. Yeah, this could be a redo or, you know, yeah, we have the spider and this is uh, watching. It's usually laying low. It can be focusing, right? Because the spider, you know, he's here, you know, uh, focusing on his spider web, right? And there's, I can't wait to move from here because there's spiders galore in here. Yeah, it could be a little haunted house. It could. And uh, the landlady doesn't want to spray because it's toxic. I get it totally. So, uh, but what are we going to do here? It's not really insulated, right? Yeah. And then we have uh, belonging, right? And so this card is uh, somebody just wants to kind of belong. Get along and belong. And that's all Janet Frame wanted. Uh and she definitely had childhood wounds, right? I'm not saying necessarily there are here, but the story of her is, uh, it's very tragic, right? They tried to give her a lobotomy. She moved to the United States. And all you people who think that they care about us, yeah, they used to give all kinds of people lobotomies. And they even did it to John F. Kennedy's sister. Yeah, they did. And he's, he was the former president, in case we got somebody here who doesn't know any history of the United States. That's all they do. Look at the Tuskegee experiment. If you guys think these bitches care, don't vote the same people in. Let's get back here, you guys. You don't think this is, nothing is coincidental. Gas, food, baby formula, taxes. It, it, I can go on, but let's stop here, right? Yeah, let's stop right here. And so Taurus, I feel like somebody wants to belong to you here, but they don't know, or you want to belong to somebody, right? Uh, and there could have been something that happened between you and this person in the past. Yeah, but this is deep. I have to say it really is deep. I do feel like this five of hearts is telling the whole story and love. It's really beautiful here. This foretells a marriage, and then we have Sappho, right? And she's ready to go with her booby sticking out. Let's see what we have for Taurus. We're going to use my deck here. Psychic connection with this person. Wow, very cool. And uh, financial issues. Somebody has financial issues. Um, they do. Or they're going to. Somebody, something's going south here. Something's going wrong. I feel like there's a breakup or something. And your person's, I feel like they're going to come forward. And you're not maybe entirely sure. And if this is you going after this person, like returning to somebody, you're, you're still not sure if it's going to happen. But I feel like it is. Let's see what else we have for Taurus. We have passion and ecstasy. For sure, we have love here with Sappho and her boobies sticking out. Yeah, definitely here. So what else we have. And trust issues. Mm -hmm. And I've been saying that since the, since the reading started over here. You're not sure this is going to happen for you, right? And something could have happened in the past uh, that kind of, you know, screwed up your trust, right? Yeah, let's see what we have. Let's see what we have for Taurus. We have the star. Page of Cups. Well, see, you have a brand new beginning right here in the heart of the matter. I feel like you do. Here you are again, Taurus, naked. This time your full boobies are sticking out. And up here, you know, it's cleavage, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have the Ten of Swords. King of Pentacles. That could be you. Could be another Earth sign. Six of 
Six of Swords, this is how you affect somebody. Somebody's, this person's in transition coming to you. Here they are on their boat, right? Hopefully they have a real boat, not a rowboat, right? Let's see what else we have for Taurus. We have the Queen of Swords. And I feel like you are discerning whether or not this is all going to happen for you, most likely. We have a message coming right here. The Page of Cups. This is an offer of love. It could be an offer of friendship, all of the above. Let's see what else we have. Knight of Swords. Yeah, and this is an unexpected message coming in right here. Yeah, you're holding out for hope here. And this is going to happen for you. It is. Ten of Swords. <coughs> There's just a lot of baggage here. You have some, uh, I feel like you probably, one, or, one, or, one of you guys has some childhood wounds or some old wounds here. And there could be wounds from a past union with this person. Ten of Swords and the Seven of Cups. Excuse me, you guys. <clears throat> this is an overwhelming choice here seven of cups i feel like you have made one here somebody's going through through some type of uh some type of an ending here with the ten of swords yeah it could be what this fallen teeth is about This is some type of a completion. I, this is what you want. You want some type of an ending here. I mean, this is very clear that you want to start over with this person. You could be, it's possible this person is making some very overwhelming choice. They might not be trusting this entirely. One of you has trust issues or both. And, you know, when there's wounds involved, it could be both. Right? But I feel like you could be possibly expecting here that, well, uh, if there's some type of an ending here, Ten of Swords, then, you know, this person will make a very tough choice here or a very overwhelming choice. Because there is some type of an overwhelming choice a hard one because somebody is hoping here to kind of move on and I believe move on together. And this is kind of a, I feel like it's just kind of wiping the slate clean. It's possible for some that there's more than two people here or that there was. You could be wanting an ending. You could want this person to like kind of give up whatever they have going on in their life and come forward and make this choice and just you could be uh like expecting that or hoping it hoping for it too <clears throat> excuse me we have the lovers yeah it's definitely a choice <clears throat> you could be like you could be expecting here right we have psychic connection if you're not like, if you have not been in communication with this person yet, for some of you, you're just expecting them to like <clears throat> trust their intuition and like choose you and come forward. Yeah, but there's some type of an ending they have to deal with. Maybe it's just putting their childhood wounds behind them. <clears throat> I beg your pardon, you guys, for some. And we have the moon. I mean, not the moon. We have the fool and the nine of swords. Wow. Wow. So here's the fool. He's stepping out into his new journey. But at the same time, somebody's really worried here. They have anxiety, nine of swords. Somebody might be losing sleep here about this. It could be that serious. This is either you or your person or both. Worried about this journey here. Worried about like, can I really trust in this leap of faith that I'm going to take? 
King of Pentacles. Five of Cups. Somebody has some type of a sad ending here. There's regret in this reading. Seven of Wands. There's some type of a regret about the past here. <clears throat> or there is some type of a regret about having to leave something behind. <clears throat> mm -hmm. But the regret is not what this reading is really about. This reading is about moving forward and having your love, your big love. Yeah. And so here we have the Page of Swords. This is a message of truth right here. Page of Cups right next to it. Definitely communication coming. Whoever is coming here or whoever is bringing communication, you or your person, Taurus, is really overwhelmed about this. Yeah. And somebody feels, whoever's coming forward with the messages, I feel like in this reading, it's like you guys are kind of mirroring each other. Like both worried that it's not going to happen, possibly. Whoever's coming is very focused with the spider. They're planning. They're planning exactly what to say here. Yeah, they are. And the four of wands showing up reversed. This is, uh, this is the dynamic you have with this person or with somebody. With other people, four of wands reversed. And this is how you, how this is, has affected you. So there's some type of a breakup here, four of wands reversed. We have the wheel of fortune reversed. Uh, you might feel like this person is your fate and your destiny, and I feel like they are. Look at this. We have passion, ecstasy, love over here, the church window, which foretells a marriage. This is beautiful. I just feel like, you know, there's some type of an ending. You look like you are trusting your person to possibly walk away from somebody, or you are, to walk away from a situation. And now we can be together as soulmates. That's how this reading is, 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 uh, is shaping up. <clears throat> somebody just here wants to belong. We have that card right here. And they feel like they belong. You guys feel like you belong with each other. Yeah, there was a relationship blocking fate and destiny here. I'm pretty sure. Six of Swords is how you affect this person possibly, right? Or other people. King of Cups. Somebody's leaving here and somebody's in transition. And it's because of you. Because of their love for you. <clears throat> or because, you know, I don't know. Punched him in the nose last night, Taurus, right? You said, wake up. Wake the hell up over here, all right? Let's get this party started. We don't have, you know, we don't know how long we're going to be here, right? And every day, uh, these uh, creepsters who are in power, uh, if you're paying attention, if you're not, then you don't know how precious your life is because every day they get up there to say they're going to destroy your life a little bit more. They're going to destroy your, destroy your prosperity, your right to... Uh, Make decisions for your own body and for your kids. And I'm not necessarily talking about the latest thing that they have said about your body. I'm talking about, I'm not necessarily talking about that. I'm just talking about they're taking away all your choices is my point. You decide to, uh, your right to decide for your own children. Yeah. We have... The devil. Let's see what we have. This is a trip reading. This is your hopes and fears. So, I mean, your person might be Capricorn, uh, right, Taurus? But uh, mm -hmm. I feel like you're in some type of fear here with this devil. Or, so you are being really psychic in this reading, or you're hoping your person won't be like afraid or something. You're hoping that this person is not in, uh, in the devil's energy, right? We have the eight of wands. You're hoping for communication. You have communication coming in definitely right we have the two pages here now we have the eight of wands i also feel like you are hoping that this person will not be fearful of change 
Because as I said, there's some type of ending that this person is going through. Or you are. But there's a huge change here. And I feel like somebody has to like kind of walk a walk a country mile. And that's, you know, when we say that, it's kind of like, you know, it's 800 degrees outside. And here you are in Louisiana walking a country mile, right? To go be with your love. There's a sacrifice that's being made here. You're hoping it's going to come together. And in this reading, I can feel like the timing is like, it's now for a lot of you. We have the Queen of Swords in the outcome. We have the Ten of Cups. You're wondering if, you're, if your happily ever after is going to happen right here. Queen of Swords energy. And let's get one more card just for the fun of it. We have the chariot. You're wondering if there's going to be movement, and there is. And you're wondering if there's going to be a victory here. You know, and if this person is not, like, ending something or you're not ending something yourself, you guys are leaving the past behind. For some, this could just be about the past. But whatever happens in the past is going to be all forgiven here. Or let's just forget about it. And it's really interesting here how you are following your intuition, but you're like, well, I'm pretty sure, but I'm not 100%. Yeah, keep up the psychic work, right? We're going to end this reading, uh, Taurus. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me here. You guys rock. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.